tune in the laning phase and i guess bloodseeker is, is a pretty solid one you have good movement speed with the heroes getting low around the map the tinker is very low as often as possible and as quickly as possible um Gonna see V tune solo coming up against this high ground here. Solo could be in a little bit of trouble. They might just try and chase him down. Thunder Strike Cody goes, he uses to disrupt him. Onto the Blood Seeker, but the laser. And that is gonna be the first blow here for Aincrowd. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him complete the buff secure and then go into all the jump up the back lines. Oh, they're all gonna be able to go in. The disruption can have to down. Take down the other one. The other one gonna try and get the support, but the Sonic Wave comes out. V tune does secure that kill for heroes. It does mean he's not gonna be getting it anytime soon. For now, it's just gonna be casual. But uh, let's see what's happening in the mid lane. That's a good kinetic feel. Yeah, the laser just comes through, so he's gonna get pretty darn low. Heaven could he get himself away from this? No one's gonna be able to do a lot of damage and even get to kill into Heaven. And it looks like Aimcrowd, he's just after him. We'll see, the rotation does come through. Aloha Dance is gonna be here. So Static Stone Connect Field comes out. X marks his spot. He's gonna go straight for that. And if you blow up Aloha Dance, and now. Well, the destruction comes through because Heaven did steal it, so General is going to be able to get himself away from this. Laser does connect. I think Kiritichi trying to get in front of him for the Void Blocks now as well. Yes, and the Telekinesis once again. General pops that hunt, but Kiritichi this time with the right click. There is no right move for them. You can have two ways. Either you're going to wait for your timings just a second. Aloha Dance caught again. Rupture comes through now with the Blood Right. He's going to try and go for the time lapse once again, but if the reveal comes through, yeah, they're going to save. The Glyphs even going to be used here. And Chosen One picks up another really easy kill from that time on the glimpse and the rupture and smoke towards bot from navi they're tiptoeing towards their enemies they want to defend that tower the second aloha dies they uh they're sure that the push will come yeah there is going to be a disruption going straight onto the disruptor uh, it's, it's not on here they don't actually catch out general inside the static zone he gets himself away from that connect field onto no one get strong in the late game but if you go for sandy kaya you're gonna have like 2k 2k hp and you're gonna be a very tough hero to uh to kill chosen one on the top lane he will be fine Gets hit, yeah, by the purge as well as the Sonic Wave coming through. They might even be able to walk down the Queen of Pain here. Queen of Pain, those steps comes out, he's gonna be able to get the look away. He does for X Mark spot. Rockets will connect and take him down. Now the X Mark comes out onto Solo. Oh, not even needed. Oh, the giant jaws. Not Fight even is needed. not going that well. Aloha Dance will again sacrifice his life, or will he though? This time around, the Yule Scepter is much harder to bring down, and with the Static Storm, it's not that great. Yeah, the Ravage comes out, they're gonna be able to lock down Chosen One, right? Because he's gonna be able to use his way, but the Ichu just immediately pops the BKB. Gonna so try and dive, gets another kill here onto Heaven. They could be able to go even further, loading. He's gonna glimpse back onto the Queen of Pain, the general just wants to carry on chase. He has been yule. Ultra comes out, and we get to the down to lock down Aincrad. Aincrad, Sonic Wave does come through. The bow, Aloha Dance will go down. Aincrad will be able to get himself away from this Yule Scepter once again, so he's not even gonna be able to get the real map, and Aincrad is gonna be found out and killed off. And now, with only a low heart, that's where he starts to move, right? You know, or, or did he just want to... I think he just made face as this, the disruption comes through. They're going to be able to go Chosen One, Chosen One, taking a lot of damage. Aimcraft dies to start forward. They're going to be able to get on Solo, Solo. Is he going to be able to survive himself? Because he's got the... the no, never mind. He had the raindrops, but... Not enough though, up against the Tinker. It's just constantly god down. Loading just gets absolutely deleted once again. Even now he's gonna be able to he's gonna be able to die. This is what he's he's gonna be able to do. Can as solo. It's gonna be coming through. We'll take the TPN in. Solo is gonna be able to get himself away. The disruption does come through. Whereas the rest of the team the reaction Aincrad could be in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna be close. But solo, he's just gonna be killed off. Kiritich gets the cleave damage. Takes him down. Now on the high ground. Again, they do have this outpost. And he could go to Kiritich. Kiritich. It's a vision. It looks like he might do here. Three kills around. Yeah, the silence comes in. Queen of Pain, so that's good for the BKB, but V-Tune is pretty much all physical damage. Welcome but Kiritich just waiting it out. No one with the blink away. Chosen one not going to be able to chase it because no one was away with the blink. He's got another blink in a couple of seconds. He'll stop Raptor. Oh, to the tip of the ground. Yeah, the Raptor is going to be a nice ravage, as well as that Sonic Wave. They lock down. They kill off Aincraft. No one does go down or a broken BA. Looks like, like, do they have the damage to take down? You'll set up the Tide Hunter. But he might be able to get an axe match up before he dies, but that's all he's going to be able to do. Aloha Dance. He's in. He's leaving this. Um, uh, Roach Pit un unattended. There is always someone here for an Amiga around or around about. So he might be able to get another blow from Solo. Solo tries to win a thousand damage on one more right click. They're going to be able to get the kill. And once again, Solo, he gets caught Solo and he gets killed off. So, Hello, but that's good. It's going to be there to start to soak. Have to feel a couple coming out. The Tidal, the Tidal, he's going to be able to get himself away from this. He's not going to be able to use any items. And that's going to be two good kills now. Just as the big man comes back.
Top lane, no one. I think he's going to get the ring. He's going to get the hacks off now as all of the press comes through. There's going to be the fade ball to some telekinesis. He was going to get the static storm for that. Making sure that the DKB doesn't get off at all. Getting the kill onto the Queen of Pain. Dead for 90 seconds. And buyback 400 and not gold away. So, not going to be back here on Kiritic. Meanwhile, he's just saying, you guys left the lane. I've just been pushing this up. Bottom lane, though, they're going to be able to find the hex onto a low high dance in card with the solo kill. And what else can you say? But this hero is an absolute monster. That right click off and takes the Shadow Demon down to 60. As Phantom Assassin yeah, looks like he's going to be blown up. Disruption comes through. Are you able to move down the gap for this now? Because Vichu is going to pop that DKB, but there's still going to be the Rookie coming through as well. You get the kill onto Vichu in back lines. Diving through. Aincrad, who's going to be able to find now? Solo has run himself over the spider legs. Away from that Tinker into the feed for the Tinker. Heat seeking missiles indeed. We'll be able to scout out the Shadow Demon. And one more will be able to get the kill. And that's going to be solo to four out of the five heroes on the side of Navi. That just. Um, there's this concept coming through that we've seen the pros talk about. Vichu going to be caught up. You want to try and go for it together? Yeah, still going to be too much out, but, um, The concept the pros are talking about now is the anchor point. And being able to rupture four heroes so they can't move, that's a definite anchor point, I feel. No one. In fact, Sonic Wave is going to be there, though. The refresh coming through for the bit of pain. He's going to go for that second Sonic Wave, but let's say Aincrad is going to be able to pull himself far enough away that he's not in danger as no one blinks himself forward. Heritage has that Aegis, so he's not even in danger either. The friendly telekinesis comes out, it's going to be the extra bonus build, and that's going to come through the attack speed Radiant's as well. And look at this, this attack animation again. It's kind of like you saw with the Wiener in the very first game of the day, where it's, it's the start of the animation, it's the end of the animation, and there's no transition in between. It's just straight right, because it's aim card, he's rubbing salt the moon here. Click and right on top, the double kill with the laser. Three out of the five heroes dead, and the other two can't stay in the base. So in the next game, you know, maybe trying to see if Namiga make a mistake, but 13 to 29. Oh, yeah, they're going to be able to find a general now. Got general. Many stones come through. He's going to be caught that time. So, yeah, he'll go. And he's gone. Considering that the Miga are banging on your tier 4, he's gonna have to. That's gonna make sure that he can't get the refresher. And this is uh, probably gonna end up in a disaster for uh, for Navi in this game number one. There's the buyback. Yeah, the Thunder comes out. They might be able to lock down. He's got that BKP. Is he gonna be able to do enough damage? He's gonna put the friendly telekinesis away. Though Kirtich has just come through. The BKP is out there, so Kirtich isn't affecting the back lines. It looks like Heaven at least is gonna be losing. Now it's gonna be a real set of on to Aincard. Aincard can get himself out of this. He's gonna try, but it looks like it's gonna be enough damage. No one. Well, do they have the damage to take down the his Kunk is just gonna stand there. He has an Aegis as well. So if you do it Imagine once, him and he doesn't die. It's over. You've lost the fight. And Navi, they're going in. No one already popped the BKB, but what a uh, nice blink out from Kunka. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to find anything here. In fact, all he goes, but he's gonna be going into a stun zone. Can have field and did he have the damage? Second, the refresh comes through the loading though. He's gonna be down. He's gonna be able to go up with the BKB in the back line with the main dive onto a low high dance. A low high dance will go down and aim that on top of the cliff. Self TZ there for him. He just tries to scout out, throw these home and missiles wherever he can find them. In general, has to go for the TP. He don't have the lockdown there. The decision for him. It's very hard to say something bad about General in this one, but now I think he has got to the point where he understands he has to go in with the double ravage. Yeah, and here it's going to come. It's going to be the Sonic Wave coming through with the refreshing now as well with the Phantom Knives. It's going to be able to do a lot of damage at Incard. Get that kill, Kiritich. I think be able to take him down. Another fight of Knives comes out, and it looks like they do have Expecting the Rose to be gone on, but nope. They're going to go in for a fight for Lohan. They found the Lohan. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, two heroes had to come back. Had to come back because that Ancient was being gone on by the, the creeps. So this just opens up the window now. The Namiga say, well, we've got a lot of blood potential for this. Speaking about blood potential, this is the Ravage. Double Ravage comes through VG and it's going to be deleting heroes. Takes down through support. They get a little bit. Seeking now as well. He's going to be the final map coming through. The battle works. It's going to be Sonic Wave. Beautiful Sonic Wave. Pushing them outside of the pit. The second Sonic Wave now as well. Punker, not going to be able to get for this. Aincard is going to be able to get himself away from this. No one doing the game over. He's going to blink away. He gets that Sheep has got up. But he gets the blink. He gets the damage. He gets the blow up. It's all three cores down as Bloodseeker just tries oh, to relax, right? They just go straight for the tier fours after this Dyer's tier three falls. He did take some time though. Yeah, you go for tier fours. You want to end this one right now. Yeah, and you can see now that there's no buybacks available. Let's see if you try to do the best he can. There is going to be a disruptor for three seconds, but the rest of them, the are about 25 seconds away. 
Cliff comes through. What's it going to be able to do, though? Because it's still going to be 2 Dyer's versus 6 with this Sunday Aegis being up on V-Tune. There's going to be a refresher shot. Somewhere as well, you have a refresh shot on the Queen of Pain. So it's going to be a good few Sonic Wave 1. And he's going to be able to go for 2 and 3 now as well. It's going to be the refresher onto the no one. No one bounces himself to the back line. He's going to be able to go into loading now. Gets that scream up. Gets the kill onto the disrupt of the tier 4s. And it looks like Kunk and Kirtix 3 seconds away. Take it. going to be 8 seconds away. He's going to be able to get the dive on the chosen one now. What chosen one? Hex up. And he's going to be able to get this kill because it looks like he's going to Sonic Wave as well as the refresh. He's going to be able to do down. He's trying to go man mode. He's going to beat you. He says, I've got an Aegis. I can fight you longer than you can fight me. Time to go through through Anchor. They're going to try and clean up. They're going to be able to be dying again. General, he's got that room. Ravage is going to be able to be able to be flying through left, right, and center. And really good Ravage. All the three three heroes that are surviving. We've got the damage kill to no one. Can we get this kill with the Sonic Wave? Storm Sonic Wave. It's going to be the kill. Also, the Vichu goes down. He didn't get the cheese off. And now he's going to be able to the Shadow Demon as well. Only no one with the buyback. And that's going to be TP's into the base. General. And now, the ones that were being hunted, they're going to turn into hunters. They still have one more Ravage, but is one enough to win this one? No one just jumps in. Yeah, no one wants to get there. Kirito, a big tanky boy here, 6k health. He gets a lift onto the back of the he gets knocked out, throws that Ravage before he goes down. He doesn't have the buyback, and it's only, only no one left. And I don't think no one's going to be able to do a 1 versus 4 defense. He's good, but he's not that good. He goes down, and that's going to be GG for game number one, 60 minutes in. And that's just the first game of the series. Yeah, and it's a uh, it's definitely good series already. What a game number one. I have to say so many things happened here, but Navi, they had this game 25 minutes into the game. It was over.